Coming up next, a real special treat. Just released brand new, three new fragrances from Roja Dove, the Essence Collection. Similar names, totally different fragrances from previous ones. And I'm just gonna give you a quick and brief introduction and smell them really quickly. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose, coming to you, of course, as usual, from Miami and Osme Perfumery. And real treat today, they just got in brand stinking new fragrance, as they always do. Seems like I say that every day now, right? Just the other day, it was uh, Musk Therapy from Initio Parfums Prive. Today, we have, actually he got four, I'm gonna talk about three brand new Roja Doves. And this is from his new line called Essence. This is the Essence Collection. Just came out, I think, in the last few weeks. Don't quote me on that, but I know these are brand new. And what he's done, interesting, interestingly, is, as he does with all, a lot of his other uh, perfumes, he takes the original, which came out years ago, and he reinterprets them down the line over the years. But unlike flankers, like a lot of houses do, these fragrances contain the DNA usually of the original one, but then they go vastly in different directions. So for example, I don't know, maybe a year and a half ago, you had the, the Cologne line, which was still an Eau de Parfum, but it was a Cologne style and they called it, let me go, here we go. You remember these, the Par, Parfum Cologne? So these are both, as you can see, danger, right? This one, is in this purple bottle. And by the way, the whole new Essence line is in this kind of violet purple bottle. Whereas the previous ones were in all different colors. You had red, you had green, you had purple, you had maroon. So what he's done now with this Essence line, he's made it all kind of this purple hue and these are supposed to be more feminine leaning. So whereas before I think everything was more unisex, these specifically are supposed to be more feminine. So for example, I have the Danger Cologne right here. Beautiful. And then I have the new Danger, and it's much more floral. I'm getting more of a jasmine. It's definitely more floral, more feminine. And so you can tell right off the bat the difference from the previous Danger. And now let me show you the two Scandals. Now these two bottles, actually look almost identical because the last scandal from you know last year was actually that deep purple now when i smell let me smell oh yeah this new scandal by the way of the three i've smelled and i've smelled danger scandal and creation e this scandal's beautiful to me this is going to be my favorite so far again first impression for a woman to wear. I think women are gonna absolutely go bonkers over scandal, and I know men are gonna go crazy over women wearing it. Lastly, you have Creation E, which looks totally different, right? Well, much like Danger, totally different bottles. And another big difference from the Creation E, which was in you know the maroon bottle to this new purple one, so let me go, this is the old Creation-E. And this one to me, it's one of my favorite fragrances because that one smells a lot like the original, original Creation-E, which is kind of this boozy Coca-Cola effervescent, almost like rum and Coke or Scotch and Coke, or Jack and Coke. Really love that one. This one, it's totally different. This one smells, I'm getting more of an Iris vibe in there, but that, Coca-Cola rum vibe is totally gone, at least at the top, on the new creation E. So that's it, just wanted to give you a brief introduction to this new line, again, this is the Essence line. Feminine leaning, more feminine, it's designed for the feminine market more, but like all high-end niche fragrances, these could be totally unisex. Uh, I will probably, once I kind of wear them a little bit more, actually wear them and get a full opinion, I'll do some reviews on some full reviews but just wanted to show it to you. And again, so you have Danger, 
you have Scandal, which off the first impression is my favorite of the three. And then you have Creation E. I think these are going to retail for about $225. And these are 100 ml bottles, it looks like. Not positive, it looks like 100 ml bottles. And these are Uda Parfums. Uh, I will say this, because it's an essence, you can tell from that term, it's kind of a little bit lighter. And I don't mean lighter as far as strength of, of the juice, because this is an Eau de Parfum concentration. It's just a lighter feel. Um, it's something you can wear all day. I think it's going to be something that you can, you're going to be able to wear uh, all, I guess, for all four seasons. Whereas like Creation E, especially the original, it's more of a boozy, heavy fragrance. The new one is a lot more lighter. So the blending of this essence, as essence implies, is kind of something a little bit lighter, more ethereal in general. So I think that's what Rojo was going for here. Anyways, there you have it. This is Joel the Nose. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you found this useful and cool. And let me know, does anybody have this yet? Has anyone smelled these yet? Uh, I want to hear about it because, of course, anytime Rojo comes out with something, everyone wants to hear about it because he's, he's the master, right? Anyways, there you have it. Joel the Nose. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will talk to you guys soon. Peace and love.